Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Laura McCauley. Kentucky's legislative budget session begins in less than a week and local representatives are preparing for the opportunity to bring local issues to Frankfurt stage. WBK reporter Derek Parm spoke with Representative Kevin Jackson about what he and other local Republican representatives hope to see brought into law during the upcoming session. It's our top story at six. Hosted at Q Coffee Emporium, last night's Coffee with the Legislator outlined plans for Republican legislators' big ticket items for the upcoming legislative session. Senator Mike Wilson and Representatives Michael Meredith, Robert Duvall, and Kevin Jackson each shared their hopes for the new year and what they believe to be the biggest issues Kentuckians are facing. Uh, education was high on everybody's uh, list. I noticed the governor's come out with his budget and one of the things he's put in is uh, a nice raise for teachers. We've got to look at uh, retaining the teachers that we have, and we've got to look at providing a little more starting pay uh, and up in the pay for our teachers. It's, you know, that's the future of our state is our kids. Education and the Safer Kentucky Act, a bill aimed at higher penalties for violent offenders, were both high on Jackson's list. While Mike Wilson made his plans clear to cut the Kentucky Education Department's budget, Jackson says the cut in funding has no effect on teacher pay. The Department of Education is one thing, and the SEEK formula, the funds that we send down to the actual school districts, is another thing. It's two different pots of money, and it's two different programs. So if you cut over here, maybe we have more money over here. But, you know, if you cut over here, you're not going to give them more money. So, but... Uh, Governor but, Bashir has also made it clear that he plans to raise pay rates for state troopers and increase infrastructure budgets statewide. Meredith and Duval each suggested bills aimed at improving mental health services statewide, one for veterans at risk of suicide, and another addressing the mental health crisis that fuels the opioid epidemic. It's a different approach. It's going away from necessarily the, you know, put them, lock, lock them up and throw the key away. Uh, they have a, a, an issue, it, it, whether it's uh, the drugs cause the mental health problem or the mental health problem caused the drug problem. We've got to get to the root of that and we've got to try to treat these people. We all have them in our families. You know, most everybody has somebody that's been affected by drug or alcohol abuse. So we can't just turn our head and say, you know, that's somebody else's problem. It's all of us's problem. Reporting in Bowling Green, Derek Parham, WBKO News. Representative Jackson said that for roughly 25% of representatives entering the session, this will be the first term organizing the state's budget. The legislative session will begin this Tuesday, January 2nd, and conclude in mid-April.